Okay, so welcome to this week's call. And I want to thank you um, for joining us to start with. Uh, I know for us, it's Friday morning. And for you guys on the other side of the globe, it's actually Thursday evening. So we always appreciate you joining us. And today we're going to talk about uh, how crucial it is to be able to get your message across in 60 seconds or one minute, depending on what time means to you. So I just want to look at setting up a little, uh, a, I'm just letting somebody in, setting up a little PowerPoint here just to go through and have a look at understanding that um, when we're talking about verbal introductions, it is crucial. And I'm not quite sure if people really understand just how crucial it is, uh, because you can either have people leaning into you or you'll have people running in the other direction from you. It'll be one or the other. So we would like to think that our verbal intro is crucial. So whether, you know, it's, it's me, so you, talking to you, um, so you, me, and together, we can have a huge impact on one another. And it's what we say in that first 60 seconds or one minute. And build your main three areas. So what will I do? Um, what will you do when we talk about it? And what can we do together? Like we can set this all up in 60 seconds. Like this can all happen. I know it sounds like it's impossible, but it's not. It's I'm possible. So you need to understand what your why is and why you're actually going to be sharing your information for 60 seconds. Anchor to it so that you truly do believe in what your story is going to be in that 60 seconds. And you need to have a couple of stories, I think, because on what areas that you're going to be sitting in. So what sort of environment, who are you actually going to share the information to? Because there are going to be different people, different educations, different um, work environments, children it could be you know parents with children wherever it may be but you're going to have obstacles and they're going to happen so this is where you need to have that pathway forward and you need to actually try and learn to stand together stronger so even when you're sharing your 60 seconds or your one minute where you're trying to open and find a way of opening those closed doors you may have to draw somebody else into that and you can work that out in that first 60 seconds on how somebody leans into you or whether they lean back, whether they look in the other direction, because there's always a solution to something of unlocking that key, literally. And you've got to think about when you're sharing your story, be authentic, because if you're sad, um, depending on where you're at and what your story is that you're telling, that's who you're going to attract. You're going to be frightened because most of us are. When we step into a new space, I don't care who you are, there's a bit of fear there. But fear is healthy because it makes you get out of your comfort zone. And if you haven't got any confidence, it may be something as simple as hanging on to a, a coin or hanging on to something in your hand. I did hear a couple of times now at different seminars that I've been to, someone's used a paper clip when they've been doing TED Talks and things like that, that they've had a paper clip in their hand so they've been able to actually take the anxiety, help them with their confidence that they're thinking about something different because we want to try and attract people and we want to try and attract the same type of people that are going to sit in your lane that you can work with. So if you want to be sad, if you want to be sort of grimacing, that's who you're going to attract. So you want to learn to be able to stand out and be happy, be energetic and be enthusiastic because that's what you need to be thinking about yourself as. It's a light bulb moment for people, but they look at that person. And if you think about the light bulb, how many of you when you're in a room, like a massive crowded convention, we all see it. There are some people that stand out and they, they're not saying anything. It's not because of how they look. It's just they've got that presence. There's just something about them that you are drawn to. Um, there's just those type of people that just radiate that type of energy. So you've got to ask yourself, will you be a magnet? How will I do that? Create a bit of fun around what you're doing because if it's work, we know it's work, but you've got to have fun doing it because if it feels like that it's, you know, how's things going for it? Oh, yeah, you know. Well, jeepers, that's not real fun. I'm not going to want to go and join you because it sounds like it's real. It's a job. Uh, well, no, we want to actually let you know you've got to work at it, but you can have fun doing it. So you grow together whilst you're doing it. And it's important to understand that, that you're going to be ready to do it, you get set to do it, and you have a plan in place to go with it. So when we look at this, we touched on base on another call yesterday, to know your story, understand what your background is, um, where you, what your problems were as to why it led you to finding a solution and how you feel about things um, as we get going through. 
So the whole purpose behind this is learning to tell your story. How do you tell your story in 60 seconds? So for me, um, you know, if somebody asks me, what are you doing these days? Well, I'm still sitting in the health and wellness space. Um, I've actually ventured into something that I really, truly love. I'm very passionate about. And why? Because it's just changing so many people's lives and I get to do it from home. I can go globally with it. But what I've seen happen with people over the last six years for me um, has really resonated with me that I just want to stand on top of the mountain and share it because what I have is natural and I know that it helps people. I just leave it at that, um, to be quite honest, because I don't know whether they're actually interested in the business. I want them to know I'm passionate about it. I don't want to be over the top about it but I want them to know it's in that health and wellness space. Um, and it generally then opens up a question and they will then usually ask. I truly believe too, we need to be a product of the product. Now, when I say that, if you're going to be in the health industry, you've got to walk the walk. You've got to talk the talk without being over the top. So what do I mean by that? Present yourself. It's, I think we spoke about it on here before that even when we're sitting here, when we look at each other around here, what do you see? Do you see energy in each one of us? You know, are there many of us that are sitting back like Everett? Everett's sitting back. He's a laid back kind of a guy. I can see that and he's crazy. And, you know, but is that what you do when you go out and you share your story? I'm not saying it's wrong because that's the type of people that we want to attract. So you've got to look at it and go, well, who are you? And what do you say in that 60 seconds? So, um we might try. We'll see. Is anybody game to put the hand up for a 60 second intro and say, well, this is if I asked you, what is it that you do, Jeff? You know, what what is it that you do in your your life? What do you do for work? Um, tell me a little bit about yourself and see what that looks like in 60 seconds. Are you guys game to do something like this today? Yeah. If it's not recorded. <laughs> okay. All right. So what we might do, we'll leave what we've got here and we'll leave this presentation as it is. And then we're going to do some work offline, which quite often we do do um, so that we can stay compliant. And the other thing is too, is to keep people's privacy um, to themselves and that we're in a safe zone. So for those that watch this, please keep joining us because we do workshops like this on a weekly basis. So I wanna thank you for watching this and for you guys, please stay on and we're gonna continue on with the workshop. So thank you. With